Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to be taking a look at this ultra low budget GPU. So I've picked this one up for a couple of different reasons. So I'm going to be testing it mining um, a few different coins, primarily I'll be mining Ethereum and that's why I chose this 4GB version over any of the other uh, less memory uh, graphics cards. There's also 2GB and 1GB versions available as well. Now this card retails at around £75 and that's roughly about half the price of an RX 560, the four gigabyte version. So I think it is possible that with this card, we might be able to get at half the price, maybe we can get half the performance. Now it is from the previous generation, so I'm not too sure exactly what results we're gonna get with this. It could uh, outstand us and maybe we'll get some better than expected performance, or it could be a complete dog and uh, useless for mining. But one of the other advantages that with this graphics card, I'm pretty sure no gamers will be complaining. I mean, who would game on this? Let's unbox and have a quick look at this beast of a GPU. And here we are. So it is one of the simplest designs for a GPU I've ever seen. I haven't really seen anything this small since for about 20 years uh, in terms of GPUs. So it's a very small compact card, very small heatsink and small fan. Connectors are DVI, HDMI and there's also a VGA connector on there as well. Okay, let's get it installed. So this is our Worker One machine. You would have seen it in plenty of my other videos. It currently has a RX 470 four gigabyte and a RX 560, uh, also a four gigabyte version. So I'm gonna pop these two graphics cards out and then fit the new one, uh, just so we don't have any conflicts with uh, drivers and also so that I can better measure the power usage. Just to give you guys a sense of the scale, the difference between the two, obviously on the bottom we have the RX 570 and then on the top, the R7 240. Okay, we have booted into Windows. Uh, there was a Windows update that flashed up just momentarily. Uh, and then I opened up uh, GPU-Z and also MSI Afterburner. So you can see we're using the 17.7 .7, uh, drivers. Um, I didn't manually install any drivers, I just let Windows uh, make the arrangements on the driver front. On GPU Z, Z you can see the, the core clock is at 820 megahertz and the memory clock is at 900 uh, megahertz and you have a various information that you guys uh, may be interested in. So I'm going to start off by trying to mine uh, Ethereum and we'll see what happens. I'm not too sure even if the Claymore's dual Ethereum miner supports uh, this generation of GPUs, so that will be our first thing that we will discover. Okay, so it has detected our GPU, so it's Oland codename. It also shows slightly less memory available, I'm not too sure why that would be. Maybe um, a certain amount has been reserved for use in or for use with Windows. I can also see on the screen uh, with the mouse, it's um, a little bit laggy as well. Um, I've got the HDMI plugged into this particular graphics card. I haven't used the onboard one. So we'll just let it run for a minute here and see whether we pick up any hash rate. Okay, the first hashes are rolling in at 2.25 mega hashes. Okay, so it seems this is about all we're gonna be getting from this miner, so 2.25 mega hashes, that's using the stock speeds. You can also, there's quite a bit of display uh, lag, so that's worth noting. The power usage is roughly 80 watts in total for the system. Um, I'll check the, the idle difference, um, but I would estimate that the graphics card is probably using about 30 watts. Just before I do that, uh, let's see if we can overclock this. We'll go with a 1000 megahertz, so that's 100 megahertz increase on the memory clock. 
We'll just see if it will accept it and whether it will make any difference to the performance. Okay, so with a slight memory overclock, we're getting 2.4 mega hashes. So one other thing I just want to check before moving off from this and trying any other algorithms is the uh, driver version. Uh, when AMD released the DAG file fixed drivers, it was for a, a range of different uh, graphics cards. And I'm not too sure whether this particular graphics card would be included um, under that driver uh, issuance. So I'm just going to check on the website now and just see whether that driver supports this graphics card. Checking it. AMD's website for the blockchain compute drivers, it does support our graphics card. So I'm just going to confirm whether we're currently using this version. Uh, that would have been installed on the machine previously, but I don't know whether Windows kind of overwrit the driver. So I'm going to do a fresh install and just confirm that we are using the correct uh, blockchain compute drivers. So I've installed and updated the blockchain compute drivers. You can see in MSI Afterburner now that we are using the beta, which is the blockchain drivers. It is the 17.30 version. And restarting the Ethereum miner, we're and using the base clock speeds, we're back down to 2.25, 2.26 levels. And I just wanted to open up the uh, the resource monitor as well. Uh, so you can see the kind of the compute load. And I also wanted to see whether there was any difference in the memory usage of this uh, graphics card because when we first start claim wars it only uh, reports that three uh, gigabytes instead of four gigabytes is available so i just want to see whether that is kind of just a reporting error in claim wars or whether um, one gigabyte was reserved for system um, but those drivers don't seem to have made um, any difference at all so now i'll test it with the alvara algorithms Okay, so I had to do a little bit of adjusting. My Bitdefender antivirus was causing some interference, but I now have the Zcash miner running. So this is version 12.6, and it's the Claymore Zcash miner. So let's see what results we can get with this. Our first part of work has been completed, so we've got a couple of accepted shares. It does seem to take quite a few minutes uh, to get running. There's quite a noticeable delay when starting this miner versus using your other GPUs. But the first reported hash rate was 32.3 hashes per second. And we just had another update again at 32.395. Taking a look at the power usage whilst the miner is running, we are using, for the system is using 65 watts. So interestingly, that's quite a little bit less than when we was mining Ethereum. Typically, Zcash uses uh, more power when I've tested it on other graphics cards. So it might just be the way the card computes uh, versus other graphics cards, such as a 1060. Uh, for example, that tends to use a lot more power in comparison to when it's mining Ethereum. So the CryptoNote miner for Monero is up and running now. Uh, previously, it looked like it was just a problem when with a Bitdefender, the antivirus interfering with it, not so much a problem with the GPU. So as before, I'll just let it run for a few minutes and then we can see what our hash rate is with this graphics card. Okay, the miner has found some shares and reported back a hash rate. So we can see we are getting 102 hashes per second when mining Monero. The power usage for the entire system is a little over 60 watts. I have finished testing of the R7240 graphics card. So this tiny little compact card, the only thing that we have approved today is that it is capable of mining uh, the most popular coins. So we used it to mine Ethereum, Zcash and Monero once I sorted out that Bitminer antivirus issue. But is it a good graphics card for mining? The simple answer is no, it's not a good graphics card for mining. This cost roughly about half the price of a RX 560 or GTX uh, 1050 Ti, but even though it's half the price, you're getting roughly about 20 to 30% of the performance of those graphics cards and roughly using probably about one third of the power consumption of those cards as well. So for half the price, you're getting much less performance uh, on a, a comparative basis. 
So what I was kind of hoping for, what might be possible with that for a graphics card like this, for half the price, we would get half the performance of an RX 560 or 1050 Ti. But the reality is, no, we won't. We're only going to get 20 to 30%. So it doesn't really make this card a good buyer for uh, GPU mining. It just simply doesn't make sense. There's not a bit better options out there if you purchase new, such as the RX 560 or 1050 Ti, if you're still looking for those budget graphics cards. Or alternatively, even if you look at the second-hand uh, markets, uh, either the older generation GTX 900 cards, or even if you go back to one of my sort of older videos, the R7 370 series graphics cards, you can pick those up used for about £100, and uh, they would be faster and uh, more uh, performance, uh, be better at performance uh, than this uh, graphics card. Really, the only reason to purchase this graphics card is if you was already intended on maybe buying a graphics card for your workstation and you wanted that low noise uh, and low profile uh, adapter. But other than that, there's no real other good reason to buy a graphics uh, card like this. So I wasn't too sure how this video was going to go, but I wanted to purchase this and share my experience with you so you guys can see exactly what your performance or you know, your results are going to be without having to fork out your, your own money. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video of me mining on the R7 240. You now know that it's not a very good graphics card for mining. There's uh, really no good reason for you to buy a graphics card like this. So I've shared this with you and hopefully you guys won't waste your money on uh, a GPU like this. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching me do these little experimentations and see what the results are. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. I do put out content like this on a regular basis. If you like the video, give it a like. And if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments what you thought of it, uh, positive or negative. It's always great to uh, discuss these kind of things with you. So till the next video, see ya.